Very green. Yes, I'm, I'm going to keep this one. Is this a male? Woo! Where did you go? Oh my god, where did it go? Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and happy Halloween. Today we have a very special jumping spider unboxing. I've been asking Tom Patterson for some very specific looking Phytopus regius and he picked out a handful of jumping spiders that he thinks fits that description. So I'm pretty much just going to pick and choose which ones I'll be keeping. And then a couple I'll be giving to tarantula cribs because as you guys see, I have these enclosures like ready to go for whatever I decide to keep. And then the ones that I decide not to keep, I will be giving to tarantula cribs I feel kind of bad because these jumping spiders have been sitting here waiting to be unboxed since yesterday FedEx was running really late of course I waited literally all day and then in the 10 minutes that I had to leave is when they tried to deliver them but fortunately I was able to hunt the truck down before they were returned back to the facility and I quickly opened the box just to make sure that everything was okay and arrived all right I checked on them a couple times again last night just to make sure that they were all good until we could film this morning everybody has been looking good but I haven't gotten a good look at most of them so I'm pretty anxious it's been hard to wait but I wanted to sit down and do it with you guys and quite frankly they're just fine chilling and they're little padded cups waiting. So yeah, that's enough talking. I guess let's get into it because they've been waiting long enough. And I still have to set up all these enclosures, which I'm gonna do really quickly. Like, I mean, really quickly. Okay, so I just finished putting all of the enclosures together and I think each one is pretty cool and unique in their own way. I have not tried keeping jumping spiders in these cubes yet, but I think it would be perfect for a little bit smaller of a jumping spider. Plus, I also found these really cool hides. I got these little magnetic walnut hides from an Etsy shop. It's called Spood Manor and this is the walnut heart. So I thought this would be like a really good little addition to this enclosure if we could just like hang it like, I don't know where to put it. I think maybe like right there. But yeah, I saw these on Instagram. I remember it was somebody else's jumping spider enclosures a while ago and I commented like saying that I loved the little walnut hides. I bought these with my own money, not sponsored or anything. They don't, I don't think they know that I'm like even doing this or who, who I am or anything like that. I just, I ordered a couple and I actually have a couple more on the way. I got these little acorn ones from another seller on Etsy and they just shipped so they're not here yet but I'm definitely going to be adding those to a couple other enclosures. But yeah, I have one more spoon food manner hide and I just wanted to unbox it because look how cute this packaging is like these are so well made and just so adorable I haven't even seen this one yet oh so cute 
I'm definitely gonna try to get some more of these soon because I feel like every single enclosure would just be awesome with one of these. I'm especially thinking that when my spiders lay babies, it'd be so easy on me if they laid them in here and then you could easily just like detach it and move it into a nursery enclosure instead of doing what I normally do, which is I put nylon over them and just kind of let them all come out. But anyway, I, I do have one more of these, so I wonder which enclosure I should put it in. Yeah, I really like that. Oh my god, it's so cute. I really hope that they use these. <laughs> it's so adorable. So these are all the enclosures I have set up for the jumping spiders that I'm keeping. And then these are just the little temporary enclosures I will put the ones I'm not keeping in to give to tarantula cribs. So yeah, I guess moment of truth. Like we just have to start unboxing and deciding who we're keeping and who I sadly cannot keep. Here we go. Okay, so I'm definitely keeping this one. This is the little guy that pretty much let themselves out yesterday. It is this very pretty dark female with pink on her and she is just absolutely gorgeous. I've been asking Tom for a long time for a black jumping spider female and he found me this one. So yeah, I'm for sure keeping her, but I haven't really looked at the other ones as closely yet. Oh, I think I remember this one. Hello. Oh my goodness, hello baby. This one has like some tan going on and some white. She is gorgeous. Oh, this is gonna be a really tough call to make. So beautiful. All right, can I get you to go back into this for me? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> we still have quite a few left, so I guess let's look at this little one. It's peeking out. Is this the, no, this is the um, different, this is a different species. This is a species I've never kept before and I'm not familiar with, so I am definitely keeping this one. Oh, hello. Okay. Is this another black one? So since I already decided I'm keeping the one black one, I probably will give this one to Mo. He is gonna love you. You know what, I wonder if I should just put you in your tarantula cribs enclosure. You are so cute. Oh my God, look at that. Oh wow, those colors are amazing. Wild. This one is absolutely wild. Look at the bomb, look at the bomb. Okay. All right, do you wanna keep the paper towel? I'll let you keep the paper towel, how about that? Awesome, all right. And another, is that a poop welcoming me? Yes it is. Oh. I think this is the other one that I saw, like I glanced at yesterday and I was like, yes, I'm for sure. Oh, is this? Yeah, I think so. Look at her. Hello. Oh my gosh, you are so cute. This is a really unique looking one. <laughs> that pink. You are, oh my gosh, you are super duper pink. What a pink little babe. Okay, here. Yeah. We got two more to look through, okay. Decide from. Oh, is this another black one? Oh, cool. Look at you. Oh, you are, oh, and this one has kind of like some green. Whoa, you are cute. No, 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 no. <laughs> Tired of the cups. Okay, okay, I, I know, I know, I just, I need to decide, just chill. Oh, this is a little one. Look at this one. This one's just so small. Oh, wow, very green, very green. Yes, I'm, I'm gonna keep this one. Is this a male? Where did you go? 
Oh my god, where did it go? I don't want to smush it by accident. Oh, <laughs> it's on my tripod. <laughs> Let me see if I can grab it, you guys. Look at that. <laughs> I panicked for a minute. It was just gone. Where do you think you're going? Okay, now I have to look at them and decide. So I'm for sure keeping these two. And this one. This one kind of reminds me of Chai. Just like her colors and everything. Just very similar to Mama Chai's. So I think I'm definitely going to keep her also. Okay, I think I'm going to keep the little one too. That's five. So then I think we'll pass this other black one on to Mo too. I need to think. Give me, give me some time. Okay, decisions have been made. So I am going to give him this really beautiful girl. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and also give him this pretty girl. I really like her. But there's another one that looks very similar to this one. So I will send her to Mo. And yeah, the two of these, they will go to him. And that leaves the other five with us to rehouse right now. Oh, this one's poking out, this cool one. Okay, we'll do we'll do this cool one last. And um, maybe we can start with this little one because this little one is so ready to get going. And I'm gonna actually put it in one of these smaller enclosures. This one with the big piece of cork with lots of hidey holes. Just because the holes are like so small on these, and it's a little bit smaller than the other like arboreal ones. So I think this will be like a really good enclosure for it. It's like electric blue. Jeez, it is just so gorgeous. Oh, oh, she, oh, she put her little pedipalps over her eyes. Oh my God, I cannot deal. Okay. There you go. Tons of space. What are you going to do with all that space? We don't know where to go with all this space now. I'm gonna put this one, I think, in here. Actually, I think I'll put this one that kind of looks like Chai in with the walnut. So let's do her next. Oh, there she goes. Um, this little one has been anxious to get out since last night. So let's go ahead and rehouse her and I think I'll do it in this one with like lots of like coverage. I think this one would be just really cool, so. Oops. Wrong way, ma'am. Oh. Awesome. Tons of places to hide in this one. Perfect little place to hide. Yeah, I really like this enclosure. I think all these enclosures turned out really great. Yeah, when those acorn heights come, I'll add one to the enclosure I'm about to set up and one to the one I just rehoused. All right, one more to go. I just love these colors. Look at you. <laughs> I think she'll really like that acorn hide when it comes. Oh my goodness. She's like bouncing off the wall. All right, this has been like a marathon. Or very interesting looking. I'm gonna try to get like maybe a close up or something. Really unique, look at that. Trying not, I don't know how quickly quick these guys are. Pretty quick it appears though. 
Oh my gosh, yeah, very quick, wow. But we did it, that's all of them. They've all been rehoused. We made some very difficult decisions, but yeah, I had a lot of fun. And thank you so much, Tom, and thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Have a happy Halloween, and I will see you guys soon. Like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you won't be. Don't forget, I've been Instagram videos probably way too much, as I have to show that cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast, and it's spring, and it's all linked down below, and I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet pick.